Hey everyone, it's Sabrina, also known as Savvy Loves, and here I am on Prepicot to make a new video about folk art. So folk art is actually an acrylic paint, like a brand of acrylic paint, and it's by Plaid, as you can see here. And I'm just going to be talking about folk art itself, and I'll be talking about the two different kinds that they have, which is the metallic ones and the normal acrylic paint ones. So just a rough introduction on folk art. Uh, folk art is that acrylic paint comes in two fluid ounce bottles and also eight fluid ounce bottles, which are like huge. So um, two fluid ounce is basically fifty nine milliliters, as you can see here, and this one is burnt sienna. Uh, they have about two hundred and one of the normal acrylic paints, and they also have thirty one of the metallic paints. So uh, they have a lot of colors, they have many nice shades, and basically any color you want, they probably have. Sometimes if you leave them out for a long time, they tend to separate. So there will be this watery substance inside along with the actual paint. So let's see if you can see that. So you can see this little water inside, and the paint is down right below it. So the water just kind of floats on top of the paint, as you can see there. So um, this is what kind of happens when you leave it out for when you leave it like alone, like standing alone for a very long time. And that's why the instructions say to shake well before using. So I'm just gonna shake this bottle and see how it turns out after I finish shaking it. Okay, so I shake this for... Um, I shake this pretty well, I guess. So let me just kind of open it and see how it turned out. Okay, uh, there's a little bubble here. Okay, so um, the paint is reasonably mixed together but there is still a little bit of that little liquid floating on top so for a better mix of paint I would suggest taking a paintbrush to mix the whole paint inside the bottle before using um, if you leave the paint out for a very very long time so the cost of these bottles of paint in the US if I'm not wrong is ranges around one dollar to two US dollars in Singapore it's about two to three Singapore dollars so now I'll be doing a demonstration between um, the metallic and the normal acrylic paint by Folk Art. I'll be using Silver Anniversary and Buttercream. So these are the numbers, 506 and 614. So I'll be using on polymer clay charms because um, I know most of you use paint to paint your polymer clay charms. So this is going to be a demonstration on how it looks like on an actual polymer clay charm. So I've poured the paint off and I have made two charms, which are black charms, and these are the elements in the show Avatar The Last Airbender, and I only made the water one and the fire one. These are not exactly very nice because I kind of made them in a rush. So um, I'm going to be painting this one silver and I'll paint this one cream. So now after I finish painting both of these charms, I'm going to let them sit for a while, around 30 minutes to 1 hour, then I'll come back and show you the finished product after it's finished drying. So it has been around an hour and I have um, painted it only one coat, so this is not double coat, it's only one coat, so um, this is how the opaque, like the regular acrylic paint looks like. So it has some little bubbles, it's very inconsistent. You can see some little spaces here and there because it has a lot of bumps on this charm. So maybe that's why. And also um, on the back, it's also very inconsistent. This may be due to my brush, but um, these kind of paints also are very, very dry for the acrylic paint. So I don't know. Uh, it just leaves this really weird look on the charm. So you probably need to do about two or three coats before it looks fine. For the metallic one, it looks better because it is smoother and not so bumpy. And um, the little, the silver in the smaller places are a little bit inconsistent, but the top looks fine. The back here also looks pretty nice if you put a second coat. And um, yeah, so it kind of fills up all of the holes. It's not that bad. Overall, I think Folk Art is a pretty good paint, especially the metallic ones, because it leaves a really nice shine. Um, it's a good product for its price, because it's not that pricey. And yeah, so I, if you're looking for a paint that's not too good, but not too bad either, 
and of a uh, reasonable price and it also has a lot inside so you can use it for quite a long time so I would uh, suggest buying folk art so yeah um, in Singapore you can buy at art friend you can check out your local craft stores to buy um, the folk art paint so thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you all soon bye